Welcome back to In the Garden. I am joined by my good friend Austin from Grange Co-op, and today we're talking about planting fall crops. So Austin, tell us what kind of crops we have here and where do we start? So today I brought along uh, some plants that are in the Nebraska family, so I brought along some cauliflower, some cabbage, and some broccoli. Uh, these are best grown in the winter or early spring when it's not super hot. When it does get too hot, uh, the plants will go through a phase that is known as bolting. That is when they don't really produce the desired crop. Instead, they go straight to flowering and seeding. So Austin, what is the best plan of action when it comes to gardening these guys? How do we have to separate them? Do they better close together? Where do we start when actually digging into the, into the dirt? So with these plants here, they're better grown um, a decent space away from each other, not super uh, closely packed or anything. That'll help prevent um, uh, insect problems and disease problems or just becoming overgrown and blocking each other's sunlight or the roots coming entangled or nutrients being stolen by the other plant. All right, well, let's get started with our gardening. Let's do it. Yeah, this is a uh, fully organic, uh, very rich compost. It's my personal favorite that the Grange carries. As you can see, it's very black, which indicates it's very rich in nutrients and probably flourishing with microbes. Uh, in a lot of cases, a lot of people like to mix it in with their soil. I don't always do that. A lot of time I'll leave it on top and let the rain and uh, weather work it in to the soil naturally. The microbes will start Oops. to pull it down into the soil and it'll get to the plant's roots either way. Okay, now that we have our soil down in the bed, now we have to start planting our plants, correct? Yep, yeah, we got to start digging our holes and uh, putting a little bit of fertilizer in them before uh, placing the seedlings in those holes. All right, let's let's go. Let's get to it. All right. And how deep should we dig our holes? Just about the size of the uh, transplants themselves. And again, how far should we plant each plant from each other? So in this case, it's only going to be uh, about eight inches or so. Not super. Uh, not super long at all. Uh, the broccoli themselves, they can grow kind of crowded to themselves, but not like another uh, brassica such as the uh, cabbage or the cauliflower. All right, so now it's actually time to put the plants in the bed. Yes. All right, let's do it. All right. So we'll start with our broccoli up front here. And how's a good way, or can you like talk through the best way to get like plants out of yeah, the Yeah, so I mean, you just gently squeeze them out of the container here until they're loose enough to pull out by hand. Um, before I put it in the hole, I'm just going to break up the root ball a little bit. That'll just help the roots uh, uh, have an easier time adjusting to their new home. So I'm not going to really pack the soil down. It'll naturally do that on its own as it rains and as we water these plants. And you definitely want to make sure not to bury any leaves with the soil. That can cause some infections and problems for your plant. Alrighty, so we planted all of our fall vegetables. We have broccoli on the end, we have cauliflower in the middle, and cabbage on this end. So Austin, what do we need to do to maintain and actually grow these fall vegetables? So when I dug the holes, I included enough fertilizer that should last it its entire lifespan. Uh, all that's left to do is hook up the irrigation system and wait, and then periodically check for insects or infections. Awesome, great. Well. There we go. We have successfully planted our fall vegetable, so I'm excited to watch these guys grow. Yeah. All right, well, if you guys planted along with us and can't wait for you guys to grow, of course, uh, send us your pictures of your fall vegetables. But if you want to, of course, learn more information, you can head to a Grange Co-op store to learn from the experts. Or, of course, you can head to our website at kdrv.com. Thanks so much for hanging with us and planting with us in the garden.